Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother lawyer, and uh, this uh, sit down will be about the famine of the word, all right? As we see here, uh, Trump is signing an executive order on social media. So we know that um, they want to stop this. Well, they <laughs> they seek to stop this truth from going out to the Hebrew Israelites. All right. They're not going to come out and, and say that, you know, of course, uh, Esau like to do things uh, in secret. All right, along with the other nations, and they have to pay for that. So, the real reason why they want to cut off social media, YouTube is involved in that. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, is because this truth is going out. Though um, the apostles stated not to, um, well, the elders stated not to uh, be on social media with this Hebrew Israelite thing that we're in not thing but you know you know what i'm saying so we're supposed to be on youtube well we know that a lot of us was woken up uh by the way of the youtube which the youtube represents the unicorn uh in the book of job all right G referring to the satellites it sounds crazy but that's true all right a lot of us woke up by the way of the youtube all right so they want to stop this truth from going out because it's exposing them. All right. But for you Hebrew Israelites that watch the videos, but you don't, uh, you haven't eaten the whole roll. All right. Like how I states in Ezekiel, uh, when the Lord told Ezekiel to eat the whole roll, meaning this whole wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you have to accept it all. That's how you're in the truth. You, you know that, um, uh, so to speak, rape is in the Bible, not talking about how Esau portrays rape uh, in his movie nowadays. But a woman back in those days, or even it still applies till today. But because we're in the Western world, you know, they uplift a woman. You know, a man could take a woman. You know, she had a father around, pay the father, you know, uh, what, 30 shekels of silver or, or yeah. You know, that's his wife. You know, a man was taking a woman to be his wife, you know. But anyway, you accept the whole truth, the whole doctrine. You understand that the nuclear missiles are in the scriptures. All right. You understand that the two thirds of the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel are, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, native for similar any descent. And you're going to have Israelites that are in other uh, nations. All right. So. Um, you know that the Edomites, who are the so-called white people, are going into slavery and the other nations, all right, that put us in slavery. But the Hebrew Israelites that are scattered in those other nations, all right, the, they're being, they will be in the kingdom of heaven, all right? The kingdom of heaven is only for the nation of Israel, all right? The Lord didn't come to save everybody. Get out of your emotions, all right? Now, you can read... This article, these articles on your own, all right? I'm not reading it because I already know what this is about, all right? So it, it, you have to do the work, all right? Uh, let's go into Amos 11. So this is Amos 8, 11 through 12. Behold, the days come, said the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor uh, a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Now, how can um, the Lord stop uh, you from hearing this truth? All right. By the way of the Internet, it won't be no more Internet. It won't be no more ways of you learning this truth all right we won't be on the highways and byways posting videos no more 
the, the day and the time of repentance is, is, is closing. All right. It's coming to an end. All right. The day of when you wake up or, you know, whenever you have free time, you listen to the videos. That's not going to happen no more. All right. Back then, you can say, you know, the scripture was talking about back then, too, you know, because the uh, the Israelites, you know, the teachers were being persecuted. But guess what? People were still able to hear the words of of, of the Lord through uh, through his man, you know. Now, you know, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you won't have time to do this, all right? You won't have time to be on YouTube no more. Plain is simple. And they shall wander from sea to sea, meaning people are going to seek the truth. Mainly, this is talking about the unbelievers, the two-thirds that talk shit, all right? And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And shall not find it. So people are going to be looking around. You know, when the YouTube is done. And the more videos that you can look up. You know, it ain't going to be none of that. You should have got this truth. While we were able to make these videos. And, and what and what teaching on the streets. Alright. So it ain't going to be none of that. So guess what? You're going to be assed out. Alright. Simple as that. And the two thirds of the nation of Israel, uh, they don't, they don't, they hate the Lord. You know, they don't want to repent because repentance is only for the Hebrew Israelites. All right. Even if you look like another nation and you believe in Yahweh Shai and you believe in the truth, you're a Hebrew Israelite. All right. So I'm not talking about you. All right. Y'all brethren. All right. Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's what our people say, you know, or they think, you know, they don't think that. They don't think that the Lord would jack them up, you know, and, and, and that's because they done been taught this garbage in these churches. All right. God loves everybody. Um. The laws are done away with and all this bullshit. Well, really, that's not the truth. Yeah, you're not saved by the law, but the Lord is our mediator. When you when you start keeping laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, he can work with you. When you call upon Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, he, he can work with you. You know, it's so like it was a bug and shit around. <laughs> Bugs and shit make me scratch and dig. <laughs> but, you know, the Lord, can he can deal with you. You know, uh, when you start breaking laws, statutes, commandments willfully, you know, uh, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. You know, so you got to you got to pray and hope, you know, and, and do your best, you know, to, to keep the law, statutes, commandments, you know, call upon him, you know, pray to him, think upon him. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord reads your mind, you know, uh, you calling on Jehovah, Jesus and all these other names. That has never helped our people or have done any good, you know, that's going to get you destroyed. All right. And it's going to get you destroyed because none of, those, none of those names exist. All right. They don't go back to uh, the, the true creator's name. All right. Or his image. All right. All right. Ecclesiastes 8, 11 through 13, because sentence against an evil work meaning you know when you uh go up before uh, in front of a judge you're being sentenced so because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily meaning when you when you read the old testament when when israel did something or like when when king david uh, uh committed adultery all right the lord asked him you know uh now david which of these three uh Shit, which, which, what was, uh, which of these three plagues or three, uh, he made David choose basically, you know, I believe what it was, uh, he asked David, did he want the famine? Uh, did he want the famine? What was the other two pestilence? It was the famine. Um, for, I think it was for, for an army to come and, and, uh, damn. I forgot, man, I, I, I was speaking about this the other day. 
But basically, when David messed up, the Lord, you know, gave him three options to choose from. You know, you want the famine. Do you want, uh, was it, I think it was the pestilence. Um, and I think it was for him to, uh, it was, ah, shit, I forgot, Slocky, I forgot. Damn. Yeah, I, I forgot. All right. So, uh, but yeah, you know, back then the Lord had judgment, you know, done right then there, you know, now because, you know, people think that the Lord is not watching or see, you know, and, and plus how laws and legis legislations are here in America, judgment is not executed speedily, meaning biblical laws are not, uh, uh they're not enforced here in Babylon and in other parts of the world. You know, of course, you know, these other nations got their own idols and shit and laws, but uh, a lot of those nations actually had biblical laws that they will follow. And now because, you know, everybody, all these other nations want to be like Babylon the Great, you know, uh, they're take, they're they're leaving their customs and, and following uh, uh, American laws ancient babylon laws well mystery babylon laws all right which is america all right it's not a mystery no more now it's known that mystery babylon is really talking about america all right john didn't know all right uh so because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily meaning you see a homosexual you know and he's in a homo doing homosexual acts he's not being stoned you know he's not being brought for the people pedophiles are running rampant you know smoking weed you know <laughs> uh women our women being whores that's not they're not being judged as uh fast you know uh speedily therefore the heart the meaning the mind lob the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil so we're setting our people because uh, the sons of man all the Israelites, the son, I mean, the yeah, the sons of, uh, um, uh, what was it? The sons of children? No, the sons of, uh, damn. I don't know what's going on in my mind today. But anyway, I'm just going to keep going. Though a sinner do evil in a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with him that fear the most high. So meaning... Though the evil continuously live, we're going to live even more. All right. The Lord is going to take care of you. All right. For uh, for you fearing him because fear is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. All right. So you have to actually fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, of course, you're going to have, you know, little slip ups. But if you the elect, you you the one third of men, women and children. He got you. Because you're 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 ordained or predestined, like how it says in the book of first uh not first. Yeah, no. The book of uh uh was it not first Peter uh is it first Peters? It's in the book of Peters. You know, the elect are, are ordained, you know. Also in the book of um uh, first John, you know, the elect are are predestinated, all right? You were chosen to believe in this from the foundation of the world, you know. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not the Most High. And uh, our people don't fear Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, you know. And why? Because what's being taught in these churches and, and so forth. I'm going to keep saying it, because that that's the foundation. When we were captured, all right, when Esau came and got us, even the, uh, the Northern Kingdom, which are the Latinos, Native Americans, uh, the Aztec, Inca, all right, so on and so forth, Tainos, they they brought that bullshit religion, all right, um, and they and they had that bullshit image, and they twisted and mingled the scriptures, all right. So even to this day, that jacked our people up even more, all right. They set themselves up to be gods and so forth, and they're not gods; they're men. You know, we we are the gods. You know. We are the children of Israel. All right. Uh, that's what our forefathers named me. Yashar Allah. All right. Yah, he, Shar, Prince, Allah, power. He, uh, Prince, power. He's a prince of the power. All right. So, I mean, I'm just going to 
close it out with that, you know. I mean, as many more I can get, you know, but we ain't going to be teaching this truth, you know, forever. You know, there's going to come into a time where, you know, it's going to come down to whether you take the microchip or not. Because, you know, dollar bills ain't going to always be here, you know, and that's a good thing because we want to get the fuck up out of here. All right. We know that our kingdom is coming. If you die for the Lord, it's even stated in the book of Thessalonians. You die for the Lord, you're going to rise with him. You know, you're going to have that in, in angelic body. You know, that, that you're not going to have this fleshly body no more. You know, you're going to be in the body. You, you, you can do amazing things. You're not going to be able to die. You're going to be righteous. You know, so, I mean, that's all I'm going to say on that, man, is that, you know, we're not going to be out here uh, making the videos no more. Or on the highways and byways, all right? Shalom and, you know, pray, worship, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, call upon him. Because if you read the scriptures and you understand that he's the only power of the nation of Israel, you know, he that's, that's for real, all right? And though you might see other scriptures talking about, you know, uh, for God so loved the world, you know, I'm going to keep saying that, John 3, 16. That's the main scriptures that Christians use, not understanding that he's talking about the world or the nation of Israel. You know, whether you're in the other nation, Japan, Australia, Africa, you know, of course, that's that's where Esau got us from. But we're not African. We're not of the sons of Ham. The Lord set aside or uh, uh, set up, put a difference in between the Egyptians and the Hebrews. Simple as that. And the Lord changed not. All right. Um, so the people that he chose back then, it's the same people he chose until uh, to this day. All right. You know, I mean, that's that's all I'm going to say. Shalom. Kwam Yashallah, which means rise Israel. Shalom.